Hey, I'm here working on a Ford, a 1947 Ford two-end tractor that's recently come into my possession and I want to get it running and uh, have some fun with it. It needs to be rewired. Some of the wiring has been removed and at some point it had been converted to 12 volt system. And so I'm just working through it, trying to figure out, you know, is it positive ground, negative ground? Is it actually 12 volts or six? The, the regulator appears to be a GM three wire regulator and this I think are 12 volt and um, but the wiring was out of it so I don't really know how it all went together but the thing that's puzzling me about it is the positive ground and negative ground and the starter because I always just assumed the starter motor was a DC motor and if you reversed I know I assumed that if you reverse the polarity of the voltage that you applied to the motor that it would reverse direction because I'm every um, DC motor that I can recall dealing with that's how they would react but I read somewhere just today that the starter motors don't have permanent magnets and so they respond the same direction regardless of the polarity of the uh, voltage you apply so it's always going to rotate in the proper direction now that's pretty cool uh, I hadn't run, a, run into that before and uh, I really hope that's the case but so the first thing I'm going to do is establish what the what is the proper direction for the engine to turn so i'm going to put it in third gear and just kind of bump it forward and push it forward and notice which way the the belt turns and then i can uh, apply voltage to the starter and see which way that turns reverse the voltage and see and if my, if what i read is true about these starters it will ro ro rotate in the same direction regardless of the voltage and that'd be cool because it'll greatly simplify what i'm doing to wire it so that's what I'm going to do now. I drew an arrow there. That's the, uh, the way I think it's going to rotate, but we'll see. I've got it in third gear. I'm going to roll the tractor forward just a bit. And sure enough, that's the direction it's traveling, the, the direction of the arrows there. And so the next thing I'm going to do is put it in neutral. I want to make sure she's in neutral. And I'm going to hook up a battery to the starter. And hopefully it's going to run the same direction either way. So I'm going to... I'm gonna make my connections on the battery. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the jumpers on these parts right, right here, I guess. So I'm gonna start out with the positive. One there. The negative, I'll try to find something ground that I can hook this thing to. Well, here's the, uh, the positive lead somebody had put on there, and this is going to ground, so I'll just connect to that. But this is what was confusing me, that whole thing there. So, let's see, this is... And I'm bypassing the starter button, so I can just, when I touch it to the battery, it'll move, hopefully. So, I'm going to go ahead and wire it up uh, with negative on black. And I'm going to touch the positive right now and see what happens. Sure enough, it is spinning in the proper direction. So now I'm going to reverse the leads. I'm going to put the black cable on positive and the red on negative, and let's see what happens now. Same thing. I think my battery might be weak, but it's still turning the same direction. So that's really cool. I learned something today that uh, I didn't set out to learn something, but it just happened to me. So there you go. I guess I just didn't know anything much about starter motors. I didn't realize that they that these tractor starter motors uh, are independent of the polarity. They're going to go in the same direction regardless. That's pretty cool. I, I never knew that. I just always assumed they were DC motors, and if you reverse the polarity of the voltage they would reverse direction. And so 
now I can proceed with the rewiring of the pro of the of the, of the the project, uh, you know, and I don't have to be concerned with it rotating in the wrong direction. Because uh, it it was true, uh, you could hook the the battery up either either polarity, and the starter motor would turn the same direction. And so there, you learn something new every day, I guess. And I always, it was puzzling to me why uh, all these websites that, that advertise about the wiring of the, uh, you know, conversions, no one mentioned it. And I guess they did, they never mentioned it because it never was a problem. And I just was trying to understand, you know, why. <laughs>